that I've been doing my hair all wrong for these years because if I retain this much length in two weeks, fam. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Wolfie with a double I, and um, <laughs> yeah, today I am just not the usual. I know I look weird, and you're wondering why I look like a Rastafara or like a hobo who is homeless, but. Yes, it is because today I'm just pained and yeah, I'm just pained. I have been in Naturalista since 2015 and this is just about all the length for six years. This is all the length a girl has on her head. And the primary reason why I went natural was because I wanted to have a shot at having like full hair, thick hair on my head. And I don't think this is classified as full. See, see, this is my scalp. It's like just so sparse and not full, actually. And I feel betrayed because I think by right standing that I did everything, everything that I was supposed to do. I trim my hair, I put in carrier oils, I have essential oils, I did shebe, I, I, I did henna treatment, I had like a carotene protein treatment, I keep my hair in protective styles, I hardly manipulate, I mean I haven't used heat on my hair for six years and I haven't put in sewing weaves on my hair for a good six years and this is all the length I get. Like it is so betraying and so heartbreaking and I don't know if you have felt this, if, if, if you've been on this bandwagon, please just comment in the se uh, comment section because I don't understand if I'm the only one facing this or if we are plenty and yes my hair by nature is not so... Um, it's not so hard so it's also one of the reasons why I trans uh, why I went natural because because of how my hair is textured um, when I used or the time where I used to use like heat or like use um, chemicals on my hair my hair would just feel really flat like really thin and it just felt like a chicken or a rat that fell into oil situation like it was just so sparse and all of that and I thought okay natural hair might be it for me and I'm not even understanding I feel betrayed. So today I have decided to give this one more shot because I am this close to chopping off my hair and just wilding and be like, you know what, whatever, you know, I cannot deal. So I want to give this natural hair thing one more shot to see if I will grow some length, like be intentional. And part of the things I want to do to see this thing out is one, keep my hair in protective style for like one full month. Two, um, apply deep conditioner, no, apply conditioner, water, tea to my hair, like literally almost every day or every other day, massage my hair, um, inversion method massage, and maybe try onion juice, onion water, onion whatever, because they say onion juice is good for alopecia and helping hair grow and strengthen hair and guinea guinea. I am going to try that as well. So these are the things I want to try for the next one month, for the next 30 days. I am going to keep my hair, check the length for you guys to see, for all of us to see because <laughs> and then I will come back to, I'll give you progress reports, I'll show you reports like when I finally do the twist to my hair, um, progress reports for 30 days, wish me luck guys because I am losing it. I will start off by taking measurements of my hair length currently right i'm going to start off with this section yes i will measure it and i will come back to tell us what like yeah i'm going to use the measurements that i get to determine what i do so yeah
I am back. I have installed my twist that I'm going to be using to check whether or not I will retain. <laughs> retain. Wow. 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 <laughs> okay. So, um, whether or not I will retain any length. So, these are the twists I did. As you can see, I've twisted it and I have applied the rubber band stretch method, whatever. So, you know, normally when you braid your hair, like regular braids, we retain length after like having it in for some time. And the length is what we see that shows at this point. You notice when you have old braids, you have it wearing out. It's not as firm as it used to be. That's how you know that you retain length. So this is what I did. I have rubber bands at the end of all my twists. I just have like, um, I think in total I have eight twists on i'm going to be keeping this in for one month and i'm just going to be like i said um spraying it from time to time with my green tea because like i've given up on buying products for this hair so <laughs> i'm just going to use what i have at home i'm not going to kill myself so i'm going to spray from time to time with like green tea um i did apply onion water onion juice onion decoction whatever to my hair um when I was doing pre pool I used it to pre pool I also used rice water to pre pool so that is all part of seeing whether this method of approaching my hair will help my hair retain length and I also trimmed the ends of my hair and then when I twisted my hair I you know did this to it so that it just seals my end I do not have any fancy oil I do not have um, any special hair growth oil whatever whatever Currently, the only thing I have, which is because I see literally everywhere in this Lagos, is shea butter. I have my shea butter in this container. I apply it to the roots after I um, used my, what's it called, conditioner. And that is all. So for this one month, I am going to be updating us. Like on some days, I'm going to do mini videos, just five minutes, few minutes videos of my hair. So you should stay tuned till the end of this video to see what the outcome is because at the end of the video I'll let you see I'll take down this twist and let us all see whether or not I retain length and don't forget I did tape my length so I'm going to um, be measuring the new length I have whether or not I grow length I'm just going to measure the length at the end of this one month and compare it to the length at the beginning so that's what I'm going to be doing with this video um, Please wish me luck guys because this is my end game move, my checkers move, like my last resort. So wish me luck. Um, yeah, if you would like to see how I got this to my hair, do leave that in the comment section so that I will know if to post a video on this process. Um, yeah. Three days later. I'm going to try to be really quick because this video is so fast. I start with applying green tea on my hair. I spray it to my hair. I massage my scalp thoroughly. I do the inversion method. Um, I also add my conditioner to my scalp and also to the tip of my hair. You can see me demonstrating the inversion method here. I also add to the tip of my ends because that's like, or the ends of my hair because that's like the oldest part. Sorry, I'm rushing because this video is so fast. And after I do that, I massage my scalp. Sometimes I add oil, castor oil only, and that's it. with this whole hair growth thing and um, I was supposed to doing it for 30 days girl couldn't keep it till 30 days because well I don't know that I want to be keeping this type of twist on my hair for that long and well I did notice that a lot of people who have grown length and thickness and all of that and their hair be flourishing they be doing it for two weeks so, so yeah I decided to also do it for two weeks and um, I decided to do it for two weeks because I want to over time be doing this thing for two weeks to see what my hair 
will become because I want to continue with the whole um, I want to continue with the whole onion decoction um, the whole what's this thing again rice water I found a new way to do rice water and infusing my hair as like a conditioner so those are the reasons why instead of doing it for like one month I decided to do it for two weeks so ooh, here's the great reveal I'm going to be um, unraveling my hair using of course my conditioner so that my hair doesn't break or frizz or whatever and we are going to measure to see if I grew any length wish me luck because yeah wish myself luck so um was literally beating I know a lot of people like you know it's not such a big deal it's just hair it's a big deal to me because thin hair struggle and then big forehead struggle so it's a, it's, 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 it was a big deal for me but to see the length yo to see the length guys I went from <laughs> you know oh my god okay okay if you enjoyed this video you know you should subscribe because because I'm gonna show you all the things I did oh my god oh my god uh, guys okay you know what if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe be sure to turn off your notification bell because I'll be bringing you all juices like this one be sure to share 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 with people who might benefit from this please don't hold it to yourself because you don't know how many people might have been struggling with your hair like I have for five six years and be sure to come back leave comments let me know the type of things you'd like to see on this channel just engage i am super pumped i'm super happy this is going to be my holy grail holy grail because it means that i've been doing my hair all wrong for these years because if i retain this much length in two weeks fam, let's just leave it because your girl is going to be flipping hair in your faces very soon until next time guys i really enjoyed this um challenge it challenged me because of course i was going to bring back results to you guys but it challenged me and it has just made me see my hair or like my hair journey from a whole different angle and now i can actually understand why people actually um a lot of the type of people i talked about that show length and all of that do grow length because it just showed that we care and attention our hair grows like did you see the mad length difference two weeks I didn't even do it for a month two weeks oh my god so if I don't lose hair 
and I keep doing this thing, it means, <laughs> you know what, you know what, bye guys, you know, just, just bye, just bye. <laughs>